Canada's defense landscape is rapidly changing, and our fighter fleet needs to keep pace. How will the Gripen, a key player, adapt to the challenges of 2040 and beyond? Join us as we unveil the strategic roadmap for Canada's Gripen fleet, detailing the crucial upgrades and roles that will ensure its continued dominance and relevance in an unpredictable future. Imagine Canada's skies in 2040. What jets will be defending our borders? While many predict the F-35, a compelling argument is emerging for the Gripen to remain a key player. Discover the ambitious plan to integrate advanced technologies and potential upgrades that could redefine the Gripen's role in Canada's defense for decades to come. Canada's skies have long echoed with the roar of the CF-18s, reliable, battle-tested, but undeniably aging. By the late 2020s, their limitations were impossible to ignore. The question wasn't if Canada needed a replacement, it was which jet could truly carry Canada into the future. Many expected the flashy F-35 to dominate the conversation. After all, it's marketed as the world's most advanced stealth fighter. Others lobbied hard for the tried-and-true Super Hornet, a safe and familiar option. But when the dust settled, Canada looked beyond just sticker prices and hype. The decision for the Gripen wasn't just about cost. It was about adaptability, sovereignty, and long-term value. The Gripen EF offered something the others didn't, a fighter built for harsh environments with upgrade paths baked into its DNA and operational costs that won't drain the defense budget for decades. By the end of the 2020s, the Royal Canadian Air Force is set to declare initial operational capability for its Gripen fleet, a milestone signaling not just a new jet, but a new era. And what about the pilots who've already begun transition training? Early reports are striking. They describe a cockpit designed for the pilot's mind, with systems that feel less like machines and more like partners. The learning curve is steep, yes, but integration exercises have revealed something remarkable. Pilots are adapting faster than expected and in some cases outperforming benchmarks set by legacy fleets. In short, this isn't just a replacement of hardware. It's a cultural and operational shift. Canada isn't just buying a jet. It's investing in a vision of air power that looks far beyond 2030, straight into 2040. As we move into the 2030s, the Gripen is no longer just a replacement for Canada's aging CF-18s, it's quickly becoming the backbone of Canadian air power. Why? Because adaptability and affordability matter more now than ever before. Take NORAD, for example. The Arctic is warming, new shipping lanes are opening, and Russian long-range bombers and surveillance flights are testing boundaries like never before. Canada needs jets that can scramble fast, patrol longer, and operate from remote bases in harsh, icy conditions. The Gripen's low operating costs and rugged design give Canada a unique advantage here. It means more sorties, more presence, and more deterrence without bleeding the defense budget dry. By 2030, we're looking at deployment strategies where Gripens aren't just stationed in southern bases, but permanently forward deployed in the north. A clear message that Canadian sovereignty isn't negotiable. And beyond defense at home, the Gripen is being prepared for something bigger. Expeditionary missions alongside NATO allies. Lightweight logistics, quick turnaround, and modular upgrades make it the kind of aircraft Canada can actually send abroad without straining resources. And here's where it gets even more exciting, the technology inside. New sensor packages, upgraded radar, and next-generation data links are transforming Gripen into a true information hub. Imagine a jet that doesn't just see the battle space, but instantly shares that picture across allied forces. It's not just about firepower anymore. It's about decision-making dominance. From my perspective, this is where Canada's bet on the Gripen pays off most. It's not a flashy stealth toy designed for prestige. It's a workhorse built for the real-world threats Canada actually faces.
By 2030, it won't just be filling the skies, it'll be shaping Canada's credibility as a reliable defender at home and abroad. By 2035, Canada's Gripen fleet will hit a critical milestone, mid-life upgrades designed to keep it relevant well into the 2040s. These aren't just routine tune-ups, they're game-changing enhancements. The most anticipated leap is AI integration. Decision support systems will help pilots process data in real time, flagging threats, suggesting maneuvers, and even managing electronic warfare tasks. Autonomous capabilities are also on the horizon. Gripens could operate in loyal wingman mode, teaming with drones to extend surveillance and strike reach without risking pilots' lives. On the weapons front, next-generation missiles will redefine the jet's punch. Canada is expected to integrate long-range, beyond-visual-range air-to-air missiles and advanced precision strike systems, giving Gripen the ability to deter both peer adversaries and hybrid threats. And this isn't just about importing tech. Canadian aerospace industries are projected to play a direct role, from upgrading avionics to co-developing weapons integration packages. This not only secures jobs at home, but ensures Canada isn't just a customer, it's a partner shaping the jet's evolution. In short, by 2035, the Gripen will no longer be the jet Canada bought. It'll be a smarter, deadlier, and more Canadian-made machine. As we step into 2040, the Gripen is no longer just a fighter jet. It's the beating heart of a larger system of systems. Picture this, Gripen's flying alongside autonomous drones, all networked into a web of satellites, ground sensors, and allied command centers. Every platform feeding data, every asset enhancing the other. This isn't science fiction anymore. It's the future of air combat, and the Gripen is designed to plug in seamlessly. Why? Because of its open architecture. Unlike many closed proprietary systems, Gripen was built to evolve. New radars, AI co-pilots, cyber defenses, even weapons we haven't imagined yet, all can be integrated without waiting for a manufacturer's permission slip. That flexibility means Canada won't be locked into outdated tech or dependent on foreign suppliers for every upgrade. The strategic payoff is enormous. Economically, Canada keeps defense spending sustainable by upgrading instead of constantly replacing fleets. Strategically, it gains credibility, not as a nation chasing prestige projects, but as one that invests smartly, adapts quickly, and maintains real-world relevance. My opinion? By 2040, Canada's Gripens could be remembered not as just fighters, but as the backbone of a defense ecosystem, a symbol of how adaptability, not flash, wins the long game. Of course, no fighter jet, not even the Gripen, has a smooth ride into the future. Extending its service well into the 2040s comes with real challenges that Canada must face head-on. First, sustainment. A fighter is only as good as the parts keeping it in the air. Ensuring long-term availability of components, software updates, and technical expertise will require not just contracts, but careful planning. Without this, even the most advanced jet risks being grounded. Second, the threat landscape won't stand still. Hypersonic weapons, advanced stealth drones, and electronic warfare will push every air force to adapt rapidly. Here, the Gripen's modular design is its ace. Unlike platforms locked into rigid architectures, the Gripen can absorb upgrades quickly swapping in new sensors, electronic countermeasures, or weapons packages as threats evolve. And finally, partnerships. Canada cannot and should not go it alone. By working with Sweden, NATO allies, and even non-traditional partners, Canada ensures the grip and benefits from continuous collaborative development. Shared innovation means shared resilience. From my perspective, this is both the challenge and the opportunity. 
If Canada commits to proactive sustainment and international cooperation, the Gripen won't just survive into the 2040s, it will thrive as one of the smartest defense investments in Canadian history. And as Canada's skies evolve, one question remains. Will the Gripen truly define our air power through 2040? Or will it be just one chapter in a much larger story? What do you think? Is Canada's bet on the Gripen the right move for the future? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this deep dive insightful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you never miss our latest analysis. This is Skyjet Wings, where the future of air power takes flight.